Tourette's syndrome and take disorders are usually more common in boys uh, as children growing up. Uh, there's actually a four to one ratio. But we've noticed a, a strange trend since the COVID-19 pandemic hit and the more and more teenage girls are actually being diagnosed with these tick disorders. So in this video, I'm gonna go through what the causes of that could be and how we can go about treating that or preventing it from happening. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sermed and I am a doctor working in London. I make videos about health, answer all of your questions, suggestions, talk about health news and celebrity health, all that good stuff. And so if that's something you're into, you wanna learn more about your health, because it is exciting, I know then hit the sub button so you can stay informed. So, TikTok. There is a growing subsect of there, which is like the, the Tourette's tick section, where people go there, support each other. Now, Olvera and colleagues back in July went through and looked at the influences in that space. Out of 28 influences, 19 described that their tick started after recurrently watching new videos. There have been a few theories about that, like the fact that people record their ticks and then show them to other people helps them get uh, support, makes them feel part of a group. Um, and as such, there is a theory that it is a learned behavior and a separate thing, which is a functional neurological disorder rather than being Tourette's syndrome itself, as many would state uh, in that section. So that is actually good news. And the reason why is that if this is a learned behavior, then it can also be unlearned. So that's why actually for these patients, they've seen that uh, classic treatments like uh, or oral tablets don't necessarily help as much as say therapy, something like cognitive behavioral therapy, or even just counseling people on the fact that this is a functional disease. So if you know anyone who has developed tics recently, especially if they're a teenage girl or you tend to be one, then this video will be very helpful for you. So what do you do when the person is having the tics? Uh, well, if you're a parent or a friend, you probably feel worried, you want to kind of rush and, and give them support. And if they sometimes may curse when they have a vocal tic associated with a motor tic, then you kind of maybe want to tell them off or ask them to stop, hold their hand. The best advice at the moment is not to do that because it can be positive reinforcement for the tick um, that's kind of there subconsciously learned. Um, and so the best thing is to ignore it and expect that it hasn't happened. Relaxation techniques, also very important. And social media regulation and use has also been shown to be very effective. So not only to kind of stop using TikTok, TikTok detox, uh, but also um, adding restrictions. The, if, if you have a child, then you can get a parental add-on account where you can uh, basically limit the specific hashtags that, so that your child isn't exposed to those videos. Um, and that way they could still use the platform for <laughs> all the other stuff that's on TikTok, like you know, dance trends and people doing the floss. Uh, without having to affect their condition. So I thought, I thought it was all very interesting. Um, the clinic, there's also been a second paper published by um, some pediatricians in the children's hospitals and movement clinics here, uh, saying that the type of ticks that have been showing have, have been really quite unusual, very complex, um, aggressive movements, um, but they're very, very treatment responsive. So I thought I'd just make that quick announcement video just in case one of you there knows someone who could be suffering from this. It is getting more and more common as our children's mental health conditions throughout the pandemic, sadly, they've increased by at least 60% um, 
which is not the way that it should be going. But hopefully um, things are up, we are opening um, and we can return to some kind of normality as well. So hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, drop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Take care, peace out, all the best.